and welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing something a little bit different today. I actually just finished filming another video and I was scrolling through my phone and saw a NAR City article pop up if you aren't Canadian or don't live in the Toronto area. NAR City is like a Toronto based news outlet where they just post kind of trendy things. I don't know. I'll link it down below. But they posted an article saying that there is a new IT themed Starbucks Frappuccino that is going viral. So it as in like the new movie it. There is a Frappuccino trending from Starbucks on like a secret menu type thing where you can get a vanilla bean Frappuccino with strawberry puree. This is what it looks like. So it's essentially a white Frappuccino that looks like it has blood throughout but it is really strawberry puree. This is another photo. So I figured it would be fun to try it out. I am all for anything spooky season, horror. Um, I just love it all. I'm a Scorpio, so if you believe in that kind of shit, the Scorpio in me loves all of the creepy. I have not seen the second it. My boyfriend is scared of horror movies. I'm trying to get him to go see it with me. I saw the first one, enjoyed it, not as much as I thought I would. So I do intend to see the second one, but I haven't yet. I am a Stephen King fan, but oftentimes I don't think his movies are adapted very well. So we'll see, but I figured I would go try it. Sometimes the Starbucks drinks that come out that are like on a secret menu or trending, like the rainbow drinks and all that stuff, the ingredients don't really intrigue me. I don't think I would like most of them, but I think I'd be cool with a vanilla bean frappuccino with some strawberry puree. So that is what we're going to do. I like doing Starbucks related drink videos and was already glam from filming. Ignore 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 all my acne and my attempt at faux freckles it's been a day um so yeah it is currently 5 51 not that that matters but we are going to go order the it spooky blood infused frappuccino i'll do a taste test with you guys and show you like the aesthetics of it so yeah let's head over to starbucks hi can i get a grande vanilla bean frappuccino Sounds good, anything else for you? Can I get strawberry puree on top of that? Yeah, just on top? Yep. Yeah. Okay, no worries, anything else? Nope, that's everything. Okay, that's good, Thank you. Okay, so I just moved over to the passenger seat of my car because it's very difficult to hold my camera on my steering wheel and try and drink at the same time. So he was asking if I wanted the strawberry puree like on top of the whipped cream, under the whipped cream, in the whipped cream, and the article didn't specify, so I really didn't know what to say, so I said under the whipped cream in hopes that it would like better mix in with the frappuccino, but this is what we got. So I will insert pictures of what I saw people get here. And then this is what I got. So it's definitely not infused. I probably should have made that more clear. This doesn't look very spooky. So I'm going to try mixing it a little bit. Really wanted it to be like mixed in there. But I was scared of saying mixing because I didn't want them to actually mix it and blend it together. Because then it would just be red. And I wanted you to fully be able to tell that it was like separate. Oh my god, this is a mess. <laughs> uh... We kind of have a little bit of a mix in there, a little swirl. I feel like it would have been smarter to get the puree added in the bottom and then under the whipped cream. It tastes really good. Normally I don't like artificial strawberry, but this is pretty good. I would say that like this here is the best portion of it. This side pretty much looks like a regular frappuccino, like a vanilla bean with a little bit of something. So I guess that's it. I thought this would be more exciting. If you're going to get this, I would definitely recommend asking for it in the bottom and then under the whipped cream or having them just like mix it together. But again, I don't think you'd want it too blended. It does taste really good. I'm not a huge fan of the vanilla bean frappuccino on its own. I feel like it's a little too plain vanilla. So this has a little nice something added, but again, because I feel like I didn't have much strawberry added, you can't really taste it, especially because my straw is in this bottom part. Let's try and do this part. Mmm. 
yeah it's really good when you actually get the puree in there that is my review and recommendations in case you try and do this for yourself try and get them to mix it in a little bit more that is all that I have for this video unfortunately it wasn't very successful hopefully you have more success if you attempt it I think it would be really fun if Starbucks did come out with a legit Halloween drink menu in addition to their fall menu I think that would be super super fun but that's just me who's obsessed with Halloween I feel like most people wouldn't care I think that would be really cool that is all that I have for you guys today. Let me know if you've tried this or if you are going to. And yeah, as always, be sure to like this video if you liked it, to subscribe to me if you aren't already. And as always, I hope you had an absolutely awesome day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.